So now the biggie, the real reason for this video, my new puppy, new toy. It looks like we got another one on the dyno stand, another Mega Squirt project. Okay, we're now running the newest toy here. Uh, it's V6, brand new engine stand, set up just for this engine. Obviously the old GT6 stand wouldn't support 3.1 liter, it's out of a 92 Camaro. Um, originally destined for my MGB GT, but who knows, maybe it'll go on my GT6. Uh, a few tidbits added in here, using a 3.1 liter uh, alternator stand to mount a Sandin 508 just as a temporary AC compressor just so I have a belt set up. BMC Auto block hugger headers, nice little tight configuration on the exhaust pipe, wraps around a single two and a half inch pipe going out the back. Got a uh, sub two liter, or, yeah two liter a minute pump little filter, more than enough to run this engine setup. MSD coil, yeah, it was convenient, it was local, it needed a new one. It is using the 7 pin HEI coil, and uh, distributor setup, excuse me, and pickup. Got a Subaru solenoid valve. Don't like the stepper, just the idea if something dies, you're stuck with a high idle and you can't get it closed out gutting it. Top of the carb throttle body's been uh, plated off to seal off the holes. One vacuum tap for the fuel pressure regulator, that's all it's needed. Again, you get a little shot of the 3.1 mount, just or 3.4 alternator mount being used, even though it's a 3.1 liter. One trick, you can see the heavy bar supporting the tensioner pulley had to tip it up 90 degrees because the belt wouldn't really tension in this configuration. It would swing right past its original mount, so it's just simple half inch plate, worked great, nice and simple. Big Subaru radiator, snatched from a local junkyard, more than enough to cool this puppy or any other engine I put on here, including a big V8. Twin fans, two speeds each, I'm going to show you the switches on that in a little moment here. Brand new water pumps, about the only thing I had to do to this engine when I pulled it from the junkyard. As you'll see, it runs great here in a bit. Homemade alternator mount, lined it up just right, the way I want it. Remote oil filter configuration, it's just temporary mount, so I'll leave the full length of the hose for the moment. Ton of sensors down there for pressure and temperature, etc., for the oil. Uh, this particular manifold doesn't really use the idle start injector, uh, don't really need it. Mega Squirt will take care of it. And of course the fun part, everybody thinks I'm nuts, building my own dyno here, ton of wiring to say the least, but that's the fun part, spent a couple of evenings. Y connector for the muffler, tailpipe's coming out, I've got an O2 sensor, wideband. In this particular case I'm using the Tech Edge 2J1, love these O2 gauges, simple, clean, they work. Five years of eight years, excuse me, being in my GT6. Thing still works perfectly. Rarely ever have to recal. The only thing I like from Innovative is their gauge. It is nice, accurate, looks like my old Smith gauges. Yeah, even cigarette lighter, I'm a smoker. Back to the fans, four switches because they are two speeds each. One of them I've got a temp sensor on so I can just kick it on, it'll come up on its own. Emergency fuel pressure switch. Yeah, pull it out, stays on. I push it in, it'll kill it. Quick shot of the whole gauge panel here. Basically left to right you're looking at tack, vacuum, water temp, oil pressure, volts. With an amp meter, don't really have that hooked up at the moment, don't really care. Got a meter down on the battery, easy enough to keep track of what's going on. O2 gauge. Some panel related fuses. Fuses for the Mega Squirt. Haven't cut the harness up yet so everything's bundled up. Got plenty of wiring coming off the motor length. At least I had the sense to tear the harness out when I pulled this engine out of a car at the local junkyard. Really lucked out on the condition. Still has hatch marks on the inside of the cylinders. Great compression. Running about 165 across the board. Really happy with the way this puppy's running. A uh, couple things here and there I still want to attend to. Maybe I'll swap out. Got a set of Fiero valve covers I may put on but haven't decided yet.